Hello, my name is Sakshi Jine and I am here to present you my project Driver Drowsiness Detection System. So nowadays you can see a countless number of people drive on the highway day and night. Taxi drivers, bus drivers, truck drivers and people traveling long distance suffer from lack of sleep. Uh, so due to which it becomes very dangerous to drive uh, when feeling sleepy. So the majority of accidents you can see happens due to the drowsiness of the driver. So to prevent this accidents, uh, we will build a system using Python, OpenCV and Dilib. So which will alert the driver when he feels sleepy. So the drowsiness detection system, uh, it is a safety technology that can prevent accidents that are caused by drivers who fell asleep while driving. Uh, so the main objective of this project uh, so is that, that it will detect the person's eyes are closed for a few seconds so that it will give the alert that the drowsiness is detected. So let's move on. This is the content we are going to see further. So let's start with introduction. So once the video is captured, now how we are going to capture the video, we are going to provide the live webcam. So uh, once the video is captured, so monitoring the face regions and the eyes in order to detect the drowsy. So the system able to monitoring the eyes and determining whether the eyes are in the open position or closed state. So in such a case, when the drowsiness is detected, a warning signal is issued to alert the driver. About the project, now in this you can see the image. So it, uh, those are the landmarks of eyes and the whole face which will help to detect whether the driver is drowsy or not. So in this project, the system uses OpenCV. So it will locate the driver's face and then track the eyes and mouth to determine if the driver is drowsy. So the system uses a machine learning algorithm to classify the facial features and determine if the driver is exhibiting signs of drowsiness. So when the system detects the drowsiness, so it can alert the driver through a visual or audio warnings. So these are the requirements. Software requirements are Python, Libraries like NumPy, SciPy, then Play Sound, Dilib, iMutils, OpenCV, etc. And operating system is Windows or Ubuntu. Hardware is laptop or the PC and webcam. So libraries to install. So we have to install five libraries: OpenCV, iMutils, SciPy, PyGame, and Dilib. So OpenCV we are going to install for face and eye detection purpose. Then iMutils we are going to get the landmark of eye. Then SciPy, we are going to calculate the distance between eye landmarks. And Pygame, we have uh, given the alarm sound, uh, which I have uh, given in the description box. So you can just save it and paste it in the code. So I'll show you how to do. So Dilib, Dilib, uh, we are going to calculate the distance. So let's see the code. First, I have uh, imported all the libraries which I have uh, given in the last slide. So first we have imported uh, CB2, then iMutils. From iMutils, we have imported the face utils. So iMutil uh, Dlib. So from SciPy, I have imported the distance. So face util, what face util will do? It will just detect the landmarks of left and right eye. So how it is going to detect the landmarks of le left and right eye? So I'll show you. So these are the landmarks. It is the eye aspect ratio. This is how it is going to detect. Then after that, uh, I have uh, given the music dot wave. So this is my uh, alarm, which is this is my alert alarm, which is going to give uh, to the driver. So it will help to prevent the accidents. So after that, I have given the deaf eye aspect ratio. Then how we are going to calculate it as distance of Euclidean I1 and 5. So I'll show you. So this is the image, wait. So this is the image, eyes with horizontal and vertical distance marked for the eye aspect ratio calculation. Now you can see a uh, horizontal line moves from P1 to P4 and vertically it gives from P2, P3, P5 and P6. This is how it is going to calculate and below that it is a thresh threshold ratio of the eye. So after that, uh, this is the formula E equals to A plus B divided by two 0 0.0 into C. Now A plus B, A plus B is the sum of the vertical distance divided by sum of the horizontal distance into C. C is the uh, I ratio of 0 which varies from 0 and 3. So threshold value I have set as 0 
uh, then you can see the framework frame check sorry i have given it as 20 then after that i have uh, created the variable detect in which i have given uh, dlib dot get frontal face detector now what frontal face detector is uh, it is a pre-trained pre hg and linear svm phase detector which is uh, included in dlib after that i have uh, as you can see after that i have given as shape underscore predictor so uh, I have this. Uh, I have posted this in uh, my description box, so you can download it. Uh, so what it does, it will give, um, it will uh, detect the uh, ATP landmark of the face. Now after that, uh, I have uh, given arrow start and face utils. This is for left eye and this is for right eye, right eye. So uh, after that, I have given uh, CA cap that is a variable I have created. To get the video capture as zero why zero because we have uh, if you want to uh, get the camera front cam then we are going to use zero if you have multiple cameras you can uh, use one two three four for multiple multiple cameras uh, so back only for back cam you can use one so i have given flag variable flag variable equals to zero so what is flag flag it is a frame out so uh, it is incremented value for the frame so it will just go on incrementing after that i have given the while loop that is infinite while loop uh, then the infinite while loop uh, in that infinite while loop i have given frame equals to cap dot tree cap we have uh, already created the variable to uh, for the front camera so red it is a built-in function so it will return two value true or false based on the frame whether it is available or not so after that frame equals to i mutils dot resize frame width 450 so we are going to resize the width of that frame then gray equals to cv2 dot cvt color frame so what we are going to do gray is going to convert the frames to gray scale and then it, it is going to detect so gray is for gray color and zero it is its index so we have stored it in subjects then i have taken the for loop for loop is subject in subject shape equals to predict gray or subject so gray and subject are the variables gray is going to convert the frames to gray scale and subject it is going to store the gray frame and the width as zero so i have uh, given it in the shape variable then shape equals to face utils shape underscore two underscore np shape so same that shape is going to convert in it into x and y coordinates so for left eye it is uh, i start and i aim so right eye it is r start and r in so left here you can see i have given the i aspect ratio as left eye and for right eye you can see i have given i aspect ratio as for right eye and same below you can see the formula that is ear equals to left ear plus right ear underscore 2.0 so here yeah, it will give the convex hull. So convex hull, it is nothing but it is the minimum boundary of an object that can completely enclose or wrap the object. Then after that, I have given CV2 draw, draw contour. So what contour does? Contour, uh, it is a curve. So it will join all the points lying on the boundary of that shape. Okay. Then after that, I have given if here, is greater than thresh that is threshold i have given a uh, threshold value is 0.25 that is the fixed and constant value for the blinking of that millisecond detection purpose so you can see i have uh, given uh, the alert frame which will give me for a uh, 30 10 to 30 ratio and also for 10 to 325 ratio so after that I have uh, I have given I am show that I am show is nothing but um, it will help to display an image on window and it will accept only two parameters that is frame and frame. After that I have given weight key. What is the what does the weight key do? Weight key it will allow to display a window for given millisecond or until any key is pressed and it will wait for a given time to destroy the window. So I have given it as one. So after that, I have given CV2 dot destroy all windows. So it will help to destroy the windows in the given time. That is a weight key will help the destroy to destroy the windows in the given time. So cap dot release. So it will release all the frameworks. So I'll show you how it is 
done so yes this is the code as you can see now we are going to run this now you can see so as you can see my eyes are open so it will not give any type of alert alarm so now just see you can see the alert alarm once my eyes will open it will just bang for few seconds and it will just wash up so this is how the project is mm. this is some screenshot that i have attached in presentation so this project demonstrates the potential of computer vision and machine learning so it will develop the innovative solution for real world problems uh, such as it will reduce accidents or it will prevent the accident caused by the drowsy driving so yeah so uh, by analyzing the driver's facial features uh, such as eyes and mouth the system can determine if the driver uh, the driver is showing signs of drowsiness and it will give the alert to them to take action to avoid the accidents yeah that's it uh that's all by my side thank you so much for watching this video